video we're going to have a look at chaining MIDI effects together, basically having more than one MIDI effects running on a channel strip at one time. Uh, I've got the beat from my arpeggiator video and I've just duplicated uh, this track, the track that I had the arpeggiator on, um, but I've actually taken all the effects off. So uh, we're going to start off with uh, the chord trigger. So here we have the chord trigger. You can see there's one uh, sort of automatically assigned. I'm just going to clear that. Um, and one thing I didn't mention actually in the last video was the uh, presets. There are a number of really interesting presets here. Um, in single mode, uh, we have all these kind of different chords. So for example, this one here, so, so it looks pretty complicated. Major 5, 9, 11, sharp and 13. <laughs> Sounds lovely though, uh, so uh, don't be scared by uh, the weird chords. Um, we have some sort of simpler ones here, just some intervals, uh, and then some simple ones here as well, triads. Sus2, that's very cool. So, uh, you know, you don't have to program in uh, these chords yourself. You can actually use these presets and uh, get some really good uh, results. So let's choose one, let's choose something quite simple. Uh, let's just go for a minor chord. There we go, that would just be a minor triad. Um, so what we can do is uh, add an arpeggiator and we can actually arpeggiate this chord. Um, now, when you want to add uh, another MIDI effect, uh, if you just hover your mouse uh, over the bottom or the top of the effect, you can see this kind of green line uh, that shows. And uh, we want to put the arpeggiator above this chord trigger. So I'm just going to hover that there, click on the line and then click on arpeggiator, there we go, and you can see that it's added the arpeggiator now just before the chord trigger. So I'm just going to turn off the chord trigger just for a moment just to show you that the arpeggiator is working. There we go, so it's just very very simple up direction with a rate of 16th. So if I now turn on the chord trigger So we're getting this lovely effect now. And of course we can adjust the rate to uh, maybe eight. We could even go mad and do 30 seconds. But let's just stick to 16th for the moment. And let's bring up the chord trigger as well because the great thing is you can actually see the notes that are being played. So um, let's just press play and see what it sounds like. And we could try out some different uh, directions. Click on latch. go to the ES2 and we can uh, play with a cutoff. So a lot of fun to be had there, um, just integrating uh, more than one MIDI device. And in the next course we'll uh, get a bit deeper into the MIDI devices and uh, see some other techniques that we can use as well.